Uh, so at this time, I'd like to thank all of you for joining us on this very special day at Iowa State University. One of the most important responsibilities of the Board of Regents is the hiring of the presidents of Iowa Public Universities. This is well evidenced with the Board's selection of President Joffrey in January 2001. Please sit down. President Joffrey has been a positive reflection of the Board's role in governing Iowa's public universities through its extraordinary leadership and stewardship of Iowa State University over the past decade. He has exemplified excellence in all facets of his representation of Iowa State to the campus, community, the people of Iowa, the nation, and the world. On behalf of the Board of Regents, I wish to take this opportunity to acknowledge President Joffrey for his incredible dedication throughout his tenure of leadership of this outstanding university. The remarkable stature and success he has brought to Iowa State in teaching, research, and service is the very reason we are able to name an outstanding successor to follow his footsteps. That couldn't be done without you, Kathy. As the selection of a university president is an incredible, important responsibility, the Board of Regents could not accomplish a successful result without the hard work and dedication of many individuals. First and foremost, I would like to thank each of the 18 members of the ISU Presidential Search Committee, which I did earlier, particularly the co-chairs, Lob Hera and Roger Underwood. The Board of Regents thanks all of the committee members for their tireless dedication to the search process, their outstanding and timely recommendations, and their passion for this great university. Your hard work is a reason of our success today. I would like to thank the members of the Parker Executive Search Firm, particularly Dan Parker and Ryan Crawford, for their diligence in bringing us outstanding candidates from across the country who are worthy of this important position. I would also like to thank the countless other dedicated individuals at Iowa State University and those individuals at the board office who provided critical support to the work of the search committee and the board. Please give them a round of applause. As you know, we are here today to announce that the Board of Regents has selected the next outstanding leader of Iowa State University. When I became president of the Board of Regents this past July, I expressed my belief that most important matter in front of the board was the selection of the next ISU president, one who would build on the university's strength in agriculture and research in supporting Iowa's growing bioeconomy industry. Today, I'm happy to announce that we have found this leader with the selection of Dr. Stephen Leith, who will serve as the 15th president of Iowa State University. Dr. Leith comes to Iowa State University from the University of North Carolina, where he has served as a first as a vice president of research and sponsor programs since 2007, an interim vice president of academic planning since earlier this year. He brings to Iowa State a strong background and experience in plant pathology and agriculture research. Prior to his current position, he held several positions with the University. Uh, UN uh, North Carolina College of Agriculture and Life Science and North Carolina Agriculture Research Service. Dr. Leith has a critical background and experience to lead Iowa State University in meeting the challenges of the 21st century. First, with respect to students, Dr. Leith is a strong supporter of student success with a reputation of engaging students, listening to their needs, and providing them with a comprehensive educational experience. With respect to university research and economic development, Dr. Leaf's experience and accomplishments in the University of North Carolina are extensive. Under his leadership of the North Carolina Agriculture Research Service, he built a plant breeding program into the largest university program in the country. He has a proven ability to attract significant external research dollars and to successfully promote university research initiatives as he has developed research and sponsored program activity in support of each of the UNC's 16 campuses. 
He has restructured the University of North Carolina Techno Technological Transfer Program and expanded the commitment to innovation in the UNC system to realize the goal of making the campus more innovative and attractive to, pri to the private sector partners and more responsive to the state's needs. All of this experience is crucial to supporting Iowa State's many economic contributions to the state, particularly Iowa's growing bioeconomy. As an administrator, Dr. Leith has overseen development of long-range planning of UNC, including enrollment projects and related budget requests, established new inst inter institutional institutes and centers, and monitored assessment and accountability measures and outcomes. He has a proven record of successful fundraising and understands the continued need for private support in the future success of higher education. And like President Joffrey, the Board of Regents feels strongly that Dr. Leith will serve as a positive reflection of the importance of the Board's role in selecting the President of Iowa State University through his leadership and stewardship of this great university. I am proud to introduce to the, the Iowa State community and to all Iowans the 15th President of Iowa State University, Dr. Stephen Leith. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's a tremendous pleasure to be here today with you today. I'm truly honored to be selected as the next president of Iowa State University. For many years, I've had tremendous respect for Iowa State, its mission, its faculty, and the many great achievements that have come out of this fine university. The presidential search selection process has built upon that great respect. My interactions with the faculty, the students, the staff, and the greater Iowa State family have made me excited and proud to tell the Iowa State story. I'm honored and excited that Janet and I will now be joining the Iowa State family. We are both impressed with the beauty of this campus and the wonderful facilities when we came here to visit. Everyone in Iowa State, the regents, the citizens of Ames, everybody we encountered were very kind and generous to us during our visit, made us feel welcome, and made us feel like this was the right fit. Dr. Joffrey and his wife have led this university and served Iowa State with a passion and dedication that Janet and I both hope to achieve. I look forward to working with him during the transition. I also want to thank the search committee and the Board of Regents for their dedication to this important task and to all those that participated in this process. I'm excited to be your new president, and I promise to work tirelessly to become the citizen and servant you all expect me to be. I will need your help. And I look forward to participating in the robust shared governance process that's so in place at Iowa State University. Once again, thank you very much. I look forward to serving, and I'm proud to be a Cyclone. <laughs> At this time, uh, I'm sure there are many questions you'd like to ask, so uh, if you'd just like to stand, identify yourself, and, and we'll take those questions one at a time, okay? What would my salary be? I actually uh, negotiated that um, as the preliminary process, and I don't recall the exact number. You'll have to ask uh, one of the regents. Uh, the transition timeline in the uh, uh, the employment letter 
an engagement uh, will be that we hope uh, and, and we've asked and, and certainly Dr. Leith has said he'll be in place February 1st of next year. Uh, first of all, uh, it was a unanimous choice of the Board of Regents, uh, and we felt like uh, that we weighed both candidates. First of all, let me tell you that we are, we are so blessed in the state of Iowa to have two individuals that are so highly competent, uh, so highly qualified for this position. Uh, but what we looked for was a vision for the entire state of Iowa as to where Iowa State University fits and how we would go to a level above where we are today uh, and how that fits into the landscape of Iowa. And I would say from that perspective, Dr. Leith uh, answered the questions in the way that, that the Board of Regents were very comfortable with. Any questions for the new president? <laughs> yeah, my first priority is to get to know the faculty, the staff, and students here well and then to almost at the same time extend that and get to know Iowa, our alumni, and the whole family well. This is about building relationships here and building trust between me and everybody else in Iowa, and I'm gonna start on that right away. You did real well, Mike, because the committee, the board also asked that same question. <laughs> I've um, read about it and I've talked to actually a member of the search committee about it. So I have a little bit of schooling, but I'm not an expert by any means, but I have quite a bit of experience in developing research quarters, research parks, and look forward to applying my skills and talents on that. Uh, to further address that though, with everything here, I'm going to take a lot of input initially to make sure we get things right. And I'll be doing that before I, I say anything very specific. Other questions? Yes. Well, the biggest challenge, we can get to the solution later, but the biggest challenge I see is we have many talented Iowans who want to go to Iowa State and we want to provide access to them. We want to make sure that not only can we fund, their, fund them here, but we want to make sure they get a quality education while they're here. Balancing access, affordability, and quality will be a challenge that I know the faculty are concerned about and I'm concerned about, and we'll be working on that. Yeah, that was very important. Uh, uh, both, both gentlemen had uh, extensive experience in fundraising. Uh, I, I would say that the 16 uh, campuses at the University of North Carolina with the $1.2, $1.4 billion raised was very important. comfortable on the campus that I can start doing that with on my own and with the help of my staff. I've already met student leadership and staff leadership and faculty leadership and I, and I know they're expecting me to call on them for help. So that's where I'll start there. Outside the state we are fortunate in Iowa State to have a great alumni support and loyal alumni. I like to work with the Alumni Association and our foundation group to help them introduce me to our friends all around the state. And I'll be uh, 
trying to balance between the time I spend on campus learning the campus and learning the priorities of the folks on campus as well as going out in the state and meeting our supporters there. It'll be a busy start. I think President Joffrey would say that that busy start never ends. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to get a break. <laughs> I'd say he did an excellent job. Um, well, if you've got a, a good example, it's often prudent to follow it. Uh, we'll uh, certainly work with him during the transition and take his advice and try and blend it into my style. Um, I think initially this is a real roll up your sleeves um, and probably always high intensity job. We'll spend a lot of time on that. Um, but you do have to be very careful to carve out time on your schedule for things you know are important that could be bumped otherwise. And I've been pretty successful at that in the past. I'll make sure that there's time for students, faculty, staff, and the issues right here at home and uh, work closely with the provost on a number of campus issues to make sure we get it right. 